Guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make these ordinary circles into something like this. So, I um, recently just found a blank circle like right here. I had a whole pile of it and thought I could make some designs on it to make some decoration. So, today I'm going to teach you some easy ways to do this. Um, it's actually quite easy. So, for my first one I did, I found two red stamps right here um the patterns were a little ribbon and a little strawberry cool um yeah and i just went crazy stamping it and this is what i got and then i'm um, going to see what i um you can also make different colors like this so i found these stamps around the house and I have a little cute panda, and then I like have a cute bus, I'm not sure which way it goes, but I have a pink mushroom, which I might want to do one, and a Chinese character. Let's see if I have any more. I also uh, found a one, like this one has a star, and this one has a beard. I want to use this for my next print pattern. Let's go to the table. See you in a second. In my workspace, um, I'm gonna just put this aside and then I'm just gonna get my new one. Like, I'm gonna put my pile aside too. Okay, let's work with this one right here. So you're gonna get a one color to work with. So uh, like my one, this is my sample. You just use the same shade of red and it may create a quick pattern. We're gonna open my um, beard I got first. Let's go. So the beard is open as you guys can see. Now let's stamp it like crazy. So you can actually just go crazy with the stamping. I'm gonna see when I'm finished. Okay guys, as you guys can see, I'm finished stamping this. Now let's get my star. I'm gonna open it. Okay, let's do it, yay. I'm gonna see when I'm finished, and I also these are erasable, but you must use this one. Ta-da, now this is done. I'm, maybe after one shades of one, you guys can use different ones. So this is the one I made with you guys, and this is the one I made by myself. And I have one more. So the last one is this pretty pink one I made with these stamps. So that is the first way of doing it. The second way of doing it is you'll be needing. Should be this should be the most easiest one. Color pencil. Let's open. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna be drawing something super cute. Holy cow! One just. Literally dropped on the floor and it's white apparently. So I'm gonna be making a blue dot. Let's go. Boom! I got some blue ones. Then let's make it a dot. Okay, here we go. Now my workspace is quite messy. I really enjoy these stamp dots. They are really easy to make. Um, yeah. Okay, so um, first I'm gonna go to darkest to lightest. Gonna see you when my product is finished. But unfortunately, I changed my plan and oh, sorry for the blur. Ah, uh, will the blur actually go away? So I use this stamp right over here. Mm. There's a technical problem. So this is my creation over here. Oh, no. oh, this is my creation. Uh, it is dark blue. This is green, blue again, cyan, and some stamps. And you guys can see I worked with some of this. Yeah, that's it. Here are two ways of creating dots pictures.